Oh. Look at this. Do you see the face? Oh, I'm not Willie, do you see the face? I oh do my. See the face. Woo! Uh-huh. I, look, look, look. You know, jaquel has been doing a lot of interviews this Man. week because her album is dropping tomorrow. And so she's been doing a lot of press. And I've just never seen her. Uh, this, you know, wow. This is, hey, Jaquel, you look great tonight. I just want to let you know. I just, you know, I just, just you look great. You look Knock great. Knock. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Knock. I appreciate it. Listen, no my problem. album is dropping in just a few hours. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Push the product. Push right. the product, Jaquel. <laughs> she's like, she's like, guys, can we focus? Let's focus real quick. Not. Here we go. So, so, no, Willie, go ahead. Go ahead, Willie. Go ahead. Willie wants to ask you a question, uh, Jaqueline. <laughs> How's she doing? How's she doing? I'm doing amazing. A life is beautiful. It's been a beautiful journey and just working on new things. And, of course, we yeah. all know about the album and just other things I'm working on outside of ministry. Um, just mm-hmm. my entrep- the entrepreneur side of Jaqueline. Yeah. Oh, entrepreneurship <laughs> is what we gonna talk about today. That's what we that's what we gonna do. Praise the Lord. They say uh, they say they say that Life God has changed beautiful. your story. They say God has uh-huh. changed your story. He has yep. changed my story. You know, um, one thing that um, I love to say, and this is something that God brought to my attention last week, is that um, God would never allow you to get comfortable in a place that's not meant for you to be. There's been many times where, you know, uh, experiences I've had and pl- relationships I've been in where I thought that was the way, but God would never allow me to get comfortable. And, you know, when it's time to shut it down, it's time to shut it down and I'm glad I shut it down because my story has changed for come, on. come on Jaqueline. come on yeah. now but let's, let's talk about the music real quick Willie because let's let's be honest this is what this is why everybody's here everybody's here to talk about this album now last yeah. year she was she was with us last year at praise in the park man you remember them days when we used to like get together and like you know like have shows and audiences and everything like that it was amazing so let's go back to that 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 night, Jaqueline. You know, what were you feeling that night? And and let's talk about the year after, because basically a year since you recorded it yes. that you're now releasing it. So talk about the that night that you recorded it, what you felt in the atmosphere, and then the process of getting to where you, we are right now with the album. Yeah. Well, first, I would say that um, God's timing is perfect. Um, I did not know what time it would be in when God said, release the album, release the song, do the recording. Uh, But he knew the entire time. I knew that there was messages that God wanted me to release. And so, um, of course, that's how you get the album. This is my first um, outside live recording that night. It was an amazing experience. We we had some church. And so with that... That being said, I love this album because um, the revelation behind it is very strong. Uh, when you listen to it, you'll find that you get Bible all throughout the album, even with uh, Jehovah Jireh, which is my next single, like from beginning to the end. And it's Bible. But with that being said, you know, when everything happened, um, you know, I even had people to ask me, are you nervous about releasing your album now? I'm like, no, God gave me the word and he gave me the work. So I give it back to him so he can do what he does best. And I trust his timing and I trust his strategy. And so he holds the master plan. And here we are today. And I just feel like people need this push. People need this push in the spirit um, so that they can continue to access what God has for them. And I just believe that God is going to change their stories. Man, look, wow. you know, you know, Jaqueline, when when the pandemic hit for a lot of people, it, it moved times of, you know, of release dates and everything like that. What, did, did the pandemic affect your release date at all or was it, it always good? Well, I would say we didn't really have a set date yet. Okay. Um, we, our biggest thing was releasing the single, which is Changing Your Story, mm-hmm. um, the first single that we released. Uh, but as far as the album, we didn't have a date yet. And so we were actually still waiting on God's instructions on when to release it. And then, you know, God was like, we and there were times we were tempted to be like, well, okay, we'll do it this month. God is like, nah, not this month. And then he gave us the month of October and he 
here we are releasing the full album. People have been anticipating it since the recording, I must say. Yeah, asking, yeah. When are you coming out with the album? Because normally, this is the first time I've ever waited an entire year to release my album after recording it. And so it's finally here, y'all. And I'm just excited about it. I'm excited too because the thing is when you're li- when you're there and you and you hear all the songs mm-hmm. like you're and t- the anticipation for it is even greater because you're like man I can't wait to see you know which one is going to be her single man yeah. I love this one and so that there was a lot of people there and it was just mm-hmm. like I know there was just like when that album going to drop so we are so excited you know as as you are that this album is finally coming out Amen. now thank you now um yeah okay let's just let's just okay so um, my turn man my I'm go go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Willie. Go ahead, Willie. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, baby, so baby girl, God done changed your story. I seen a new guy. Is he is he around? Is he close? He gonna pop in? Cause I would love to meet him. I mean, would you? I would love to meet him if he could just <laughs> okay. pop in. And, you know, I've, I've heard nothing but great things. Absolutely. Nothing but great things. He's so, he's an amazing guy. Um, he is a gifted and talented NFL player. And even beyond that, he's we literally have the same background. Like he grew up apostolic, uh, Pentecostal. He'll get a chance to tell you his story too. Uh, but he was a drummer. I like to say from being a drummer to drafted into the NFL. Like he literally, one of his favorite songs in mind is Stay With Me. And he, you know, was like, he watched me since I was 13 years old. And just to see how he loves, like this man loves the Lord, his family, um, his parents are pastors, deeply rooted in church. Um, I tell him all the time, he's churchy. He's just as churchy as me. But um, most importantly too, you know, he's definitely a great guy. And again, God is changed my story i'm happy he's happy my family happy his family is happy and that's all that matters I, I mean, look, when, look, Willie, when I, when I, when Jacqueline, I didn't, I didn't ask her first because you know I was thinking about it. Jacqueline said my dad loves him. I'm like, well, that's it. I was like, Mr. Carl lo- lo- loves him. We, we good, we good. Yes. But yes. let me, let me, let me tell you this. So if somebody had told me that you know, like, did you hear about Jacqueline's you know new boyfriend? I'm like. Nah, I think that's a prank. There's no way, absolutely no way that, uh-huh. you know, her boy, you know, she had the boyfriend in this public because yeah. Jacqueline's going to keep that thing, you know, <laughs> lock solid. We're not going to hear about it until she gets until after the wedding. That's that's when we're going to hear about her dating somebody. Right, and then right, when right. they sh- and, and then someone shot me some pictures uh-huh. of the hand holding. Yeah. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, that's that's yeah. obviously not Jacqueline's hand in there because that dude got tattoos and he has and he's all iced up and everything like that. I was that can't. Wait a minute. Yes, Jacqueline. Yes, Jacqueline. Tattoos. Let's let's be honest about the situation. I, I for real. We you know we joke around a lot. We've been talking to you a lot about your dating life and or what is what your plan was, mm-hmm. and and we always joke around. Oh, it's gonna be a deacon. Is it gonna be a pastor? And you're like, it does not have to be a pastor, y'all. Mm-hmm. And and to see this young man who was in the NFL. Mm-hmm. you know who you know like i said doesn't maybe look like what most church people might think would be the person that jacqueline Carr dates right what is that like you know because let, let's be honest we we have you in this little box right. of protect jacqueline you like we've seen you since you were 14 years old mm-hmm. the, the whole gospel industry everybody so it's like what's it like when it's like jacqueline's doing something that's outside of the norm that what people think um, that she should be doing. You know, my thing is, if it's God, I'm good with it. I'm at peace with it. And I know that, you know, God has brought us together. And so, like I said, I feel like that's all that matters, even if he doesn't look like what people think he should. Um, at the end of the day, um, if God saw that, you know, there was a need for us to be for us to be in each other's lives, then so mm-hmm. be it. Um, his tattoos doesn't change his heart for God, right. doesn't change his heart for me. He's such a beautiful, genuine person and genuine guy. And so I just love everything about it. I I love it. And they, oh. just real quick, man. Somebody just, somebody somebody on here just said, uh, man, somebody done stole my woman. So shout out to the people <laughs> on the stream right now. Listen, hey, listen, it was, listen, 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 they, they probably were never going to take that shot. They were never ever going to take that shot. They were going to shoot the shot. Right. Right. No, 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 you shoot that shot. A lot of them were scared. <laughs> I, just, I, I literally, like, this is Big Med show. 
But I just wanted to let you know, I just want you to see a unified front of brothers who literally seen you for the last six years, every yeah. single year, yeah. to mm -hmm. tell you that we are literally, I would be remiss if I didn't pop on and tell you that I'm proud of you, that mm -hmm. I thank God for you, that everything that you touch musically has been amazing. And I'm so blessed yep. to know that now you're about to move into this amazing opportunity like you're already a woman but moving into womanhood and so yeah. i just wanted us to look like martin lawrence and will smith right and just let you know that we're here to protect but i Thank feel you. like in my heart that this Thank brother is an amazing guy and i'm mm -hmm. thankful that god changed your story listen Thank i love you. you to life man you take it from here god bless y'all y'all buy that album here Come on now, please do that. And I, before, and you know, Willie's gone, but before you know, we go any further, let's get into Jehovah Jireh. I want to show everybody the video for this. And let me tell you something about Jehovah J J Jireh. You know me. I am, uh, when it comes to the show, I'm not the very, I'm not the spiritual one. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the heavy religious. That's not me. I love God, but I'm not heavily in the religious thing. I got goosebumps with Jehovah Jireh. When, when I first heard it, I got goosebumps. I think that might have been the Holy Spirit. Not sure. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to say it was. Because I got the goosebumps on my arm when I heard it. Mm -hmm. I went to work, 45-minute drive. I played it the entire way on repeat. Wow. I don't do that. So I want everybody else to feel what I felt. And here is Jehovah Jireh. This is from last year at Praise in the Park live. Man, look at now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you that the, the like I said, I get up like the goosebumps come come back again for me. But I'm just like that thing right there. Like when I when I first heard that song, I told um your record rep Ebony that look, give me that song now. Wow. <laughs> like send me that song because that that's how powerful I think that song is. But you know we have um a special guest in our in our guest room right now, and uh, I think it's uh it's time to uh, go ahead and bring him in, shall we? My. <laughs> Hey, Wani Wan, what's up, baby? What's up? How you doing? Man, I'm doing good. I'm so excited to be speaking to you, man. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me. Man, I, I am glad to have you here, bro. Uh, first of all, you, you know, you saw the video. You know what I'm saying? You know your girl, uh, Ja'Kalen Carr, got her album dropping tomorrow. How do you feel about all of that? It's amazing, man. I can't wait for it to drop. You know, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, but you know, the time is now, so we're excited about it and it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be big. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Speaking of big, um, you sir are a big man. You are an offensive lineman yeah. in uh in the in the NFL. Uh once I found out that you know who you were, I was like everybody else. I'm like, gotta do some research. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go poking around and that's what i did right. i just want to know are you okay sir you know i i know you and jacqueline are good and everything's good but once the saints come after you to make sure that you okay that's a whole different i've had saints angry at me right. i've had i've had saints mad at me before it ain't pretty so what what's that experience been like for you man to get like the i know the bum rush of of the church uh, <laughs> coming through to, to come to you man it's been amazing. Uh, she has a lot of great supporters out there. And, uh, you know, her fans, they, you know, they all message me and welcome me into their family. And, you know. <laughs> right, but, right. But it's been a great experience. And, and I just love to see the support she has. It's amazing to see. So, uh, you know, it, it was amazing to see to, to see that. Man, Ja'Kalen, you, you know, I, I know this day is about you. This meet and greet's about you. I just... You you look oh Jacqueline look at you, know, oh, you look so cute Jacqueline oh I, I think you're broken a little bit now you one I, not this, to embarrass me <laughs> I am not embarrassing you I'm sorry you you're absolutely right now now one this is the most important question of the night H how did y'all meet. Well, I knew about Ja'Kalen since I was a kid, man. Uh, you know, of course, we knew about her because I grew up in the church and uh, knowing about gospel music, I knew about her at a young age. So um, it was crazy. I was back home visiting uh, in the off season, my family, and she had posted a video of her singing on Instagram, and I was already following her and whatnot. So, um, you know, of course, I love the video, and I love good singing and different things like that. So I remember showing my mom and my auntie about uh, the video. And uh, they were like, man, I'll be a good girl for you to, you know, pursue and what I, whatnot. So, Come on, mama. You know, and I was like, you know, I didn't believe it at first. I didn't, really didn't listen to it. But, uh, <laughs> you know, one day I just went ahead and tried it. And, um, I, you know, I messaged her on Instagram. And uh, it was just there. For, it went from there. And that was it. You know, we got to know each other. And, you know, we found out so much about each other. 
much in common and came from the same background and it was crazy. Now, Ja'Kalen, what made you say, okay, I'll accept this? The Come on now. Like, you know, when it comes to the, you know, jumping in the DMs, you just never know who you're going to get. Yeah. So what made, what, what about Juwan made you say, yeah, I'm going to, you know, continue this conversation? Well, I just want to say first, uh, man, on your show, um, we've had this conversation before. Mm-hmm. Where I was not feeling like the DMs. That's even anybody who knows. I know. That, that's not that's not what I do. But um, I just want to say that one night I'll never forget. Um, I had just came home from the hair salon, get my hair done, and I was feeling in cute? Go ahead. And then. <laughs> When I finished worshiping, I saw Jawan's DM, and it was just something different about him. And clearly, wow. we, see, we, cl- we clearly see what that is now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that th- this is amazing to me. I'm I'm extremely happy for both of y'all. Um, you know, let, let's let's go back to the last time we had you in studio. Um, I just want to kind of go over some of the checklists um, that we had. Um, and so, Juan, just I don't know if you've seen the video; it's on our page, WMJ Show, of uh, what she's looking for. And, uh, bro, when I tell you I was going down the list, I was like, well, <laughs> I was like, hey. So, you know, you know, Ja'Kalen said, you know, you know, I need to have a man with, you know, who got his own. I was like, ding, he got his own. You know, he got a man that loves God. Definitely. Ding. Doesn't have to be a preacher. Ding, ding. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, they can lift her up. And I'm like, this man, like, six fold. He can definitely lift you up, girl. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And support you. Just. Right. <laughs> you know, all you know, it is up in the, you know. But I'm just, I'm not, I'm not saying that he's doing that or anything like. Uh, Pops, she, he ain't doing none of that. I'm just saying. <laughs> but um, but but yeah. So you know, continuing on this, you know, this thing. How, how did how did this get out? Let's let's. This is another thing. How did this? <laughs> who spilled? Who messed this up? Because this was not. This, I know well, this wasn't part of the plan. It wasn't. It wasn't messed up. Uh, I just mm-hmm. feel like everything happens for a reason. Um, Juwan. So he had a game this past weekend, and um, I was there, of course. And afterwards, we went on a date, and so mm-hmm. um, you know, of course, we took pictures, and I sent the picture to his mom, and she really loved the picture, and she was asking me. She asked me, could she post it? And Juwan and I both gave her permission to do so but in my mind i'm thinking you know the family is gonna see this and um because there was a lot of family we uh, hadn't told yet and that's how i'm thinking it's going to really reach like that but um lo and behold i want an interview and all i'm getting is notification after notification have you seen this have you seen this like it literally it, it just exceeded um our expectations and it just went viral and the crazy thing was it went viral on facebook first and we was like okay so we'll, we'll just keep it on facebook and then right. we'll post later on instagram i goes into my instagram next thing gone. i see is jacaylin car officially booed up i'm like where the gone thing? girl you were gone so, um, I, you know, bef- before, before I let you go, cause I know I got to let you get, you, let you guys go. Cause I know you have another interview yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, you know, when it, when it comes to this, this whole just situation of, you know, relationships, you know, and, and I want to say getting out the box. Okay. Mm-hmm. What has surprised you the most about the reaction? Cause there's been some things that you've reposted that kind of surprised me of the reaction people were saying, like, you know, that they, it gives them faith in them finding somebody, you know what I'm saying? I I was was like, oh, wow, here, here we go. I didn't, I didn't expect that. And so is that something that made you like want to share even more? Because I was like, Jacqueline's sharing a lot. You know know what I'm saying? And so I was like, this must be really moving her. Listen, you know me. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) But um, yeah, it's just been all positive. Like a lot of women have definitely stepped up and said how they are inspired. um, And, you know, it had given them hope. And like I stated before, um, there were relationships I was in that I thought at that time was the way, but God was like, no. Um, and so I'm grateful that, you know, certain things I shut down, certain things different went God's way. Um, and I was patient, um, to get what God has for me. And so Mm -hmm. now I can tell what we can tell our story and he, you know, even has the same story as well. But with that being said, um, I think it's just all about, first of all, us learning how to trust God's plans, even when 
it comes to that. A lot of times it's not going to happen as quickly as we think it should. And then also not trying to force it because anything that is forced, it won't stick. And so, you know, God is not going to put you in a stressful situation. If it's God, it's going to work out and he's going to make sure that everything uh, that you ever desire become your reality. Man, look, I know I got to get you out of here. Juan, I appreciate you jumping on and 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 doing this for us. Uh, you know, Ja'Kalen album drops tomorrow. Make sure you guys go pick up the album. Uh, Juwan, hey, make sure you just stay safe, stay healthy. You know right. what I'm saying? For this season, you know, we pray for that. And um, yeah, Ja'Kalen, I love, I love both of y'all right now. So, you know, y'all be good. I appreciate you guys opening up for me. This, this is great for the, for the Willie Moore Jr. show. And like I said, anytime you need us, we are here for you. So, and I think, I think a lot of people feel the same way. So, you know, God bless both of y'all and, um, we out. God bless y'all. That's it. I mean, what's better than this? Come on now.